Greetings everybody, here we are with number 16 in the series of the SEPP Cooking Show in conjunction with the Cultural Festival at Nantian Temple and this is our midday session Ling has got a lovely array of uh, delicious healthy looking food here again for us and this is our final step in the journey of the eight ingredients for the spiritual environmental preservation practice the spiritual and environmental community practice the journey to the symbiocene now the last uh, two ingredients that we'll cover off today is about propagating the message about this journey and also about being in community and having a great community to be in when we're going on this journey of course we know that being with uh, Good people in a friendly environment, people making a contribution, working together on things is a joy. And this is what we have with the Nantian 2030 campaign and the SEPP. And so uh, we do work to ensure that our community spirit is, is good and uh, we emphasize being able to, to listen, to have uh, a thinking environment so that when we listen, we allow people to talk through things and we give them our appreciation. Uh, and also we recognize things like levels of listening uh, so that we don't just get into debate. We also have an empathetic point of view for listening where we stand in the other person's shoes. Uh, and there's also a fourth level there which is generative listening and so this is where as a group we're generating uh, ideas and things to apply in what we're doing and to explore this journey and so just shortly uh, as well thinking about 2022 coming up we've got the Nantian 2030 campaign uh, starting again with workshops in March every month. Uh, we'll also have the study group uh, going. We'll be putting out the uh, practice plan so that we can uh, look at uh, what we're already doing on this journey because of course we are already doing things. Uh, just about everybody's doing recycling, for instance, um, and many other things as well. But then how is it that we can go further in our daily lives which is a rich opportunity it's a rich field for us to apply uh, this idea about symbiotic living uh, with uh, with the planet for the benefit of uh, humans and the environment as it were and now let's uh, hand back to Ling and she's going to take us through the next delicious thing it's been quite a week with all these delicious things <laughs> coming up, so no complaints. <laughs> Here we go. Today, we're actually going to do the... Um, when many years ago, when we were in New Zealand visiting um, Tom's sisters, we went and visited Jones, and Joan is actually making this nut patty for us. So, um, you know, we said, you know, I said to Joan, I said, now I'm actually, when I go back to Australia, I actually will call it a Joan nut um, patties. So today we actually going to make Joan's nut patties. Um, it's a little bit different to what Joan is actually making, but nevertheless, I would like to actually to share, um, before I actually start actually, auspicious greeting everybody and acknowledging the country, our ancestors, our elders, past, present, and futures. And um, I would like to read, not read, but very quickly, just looking at this book here. It's come in two books, the humanistic Buddhisms. So what is the difference between the traditional Buddhism and the humanistic Buddhism? There are lots of uh, videos that you can actually watch um, on that. I'm not going to delve into that. But what I actually just wanted to actually to, to briefly um, mention it is that um, Hunasic Buddhism is where um, 
the the what you call them the core teachings the heart and the 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 my um the the um essence of the teachings of the buddha and um, it have to be actually joyful it have to be um easy to do it have to be in the um, daily life it have to be in our um, dealing with other people it, it has to be going with the flows of the um, the cultures like if it's in Australia follow through to the cultures of Australia and if it's in Laos it actually have that cultures are uh, bending into the cultures and um, what um, humanistic Buddhism is that we actually doing what the Buddha actually have said and we actually doing what human is actually need like for example at um, this moment what human actually need in our mind in my mind is peace you know is that responsibility is that um, you know the the space where we can actually rest in our heart and in in, in our life and it have to be purifying it have to be going forward and it have to be beauty so it's can including arts and that's what we actually doing um, in my mind anyway is that cooking what can it be you know like um, what can you know what is the best way to do is to do it do our practice our humanistic Buddhism practice in cooking and also in gardening in arts as well now let's look at the ingredient I have got this beautiful um, kati lam um, from our um, bush. It's quite. Would you um, like to hold that up to the oh, okay. other camera? Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, so, so this is, is actually the kati lam, the front of it, and they come in different sizes and different shapes. And that is the back of it. And the colors is actually quite interesting as well. So you actually will see the front and the back catchy lamb. Um, one of my friend Jane, she's actually asked me not to mention, not to use the word catchy lamb. It's a, um, a derogatory old colonial word for uh, uh, the colonial subjects. Yeah. So she asked me not to use that word. So I'm um, apologize. Thank you, Jane. And. Um, Instead, he said, use the word Thai um, lamb leaf. So let's ask, call it Thai lamb leaf. So what I'm doing, like as would be, this is would be as you would be doing the um, fish cake. So I have got the um, glass bowl. I'm cutting this beautiful lamb leaf, smells beautiful. And what now I'm actually going to use is also dill as well. Um, normally, I was going to, when I was outside um, two minutes ago, or maybe five minutes ago in the garden, I was going to get some um, lemongrass. And I hear Tom's actually calling out to me, 15 minutes, Ling, 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want you to get lost in the garden as usual. <laughs> Never to be seen for hours. <laughs> I have to send Kissy out on a mission to go and find Ling. <laughs> Kissy's the cat. So, so you know, like, it, it's very easy for me to get lost in the garden. You know, when I'm in the garden, there's no time and there's no space. It's just, you know, me into the garden, the garden into me, into me. Mm. And, and that's a beautiful practice. Smell that uh, Thai lime. Yummy. So, um, you know, in um, the nutty, we actually use, I'm actually using the vegetarian laksa paste. All right, laksa. Yeah, so you just add it in there for colors and also for the spice as well. Of course, um, you know, this is a different version from Jones. Jones is um, a Caucasian, so she's actually quite, um, you know, a different. I just put it that way. It's actually different. Tastes really good, but it's different. Now, because we actually aiming for seven or eight um, different dishes. Okay, if you actually don't have um, the um, laksa paste, what I have got here is curry and different herbs. If I can open it. Ah. <laughs> without, without all the herbs flying everywhere. 
yeah. So, so um, you know, I have got the curry herb, um, which different chilies and everything. So I can actually, it smells beautiful. I can actually use that if I'm actually not using the, um, the, the, the curry paste. So I already have the curry paste in there. So I won't be using that one. Mm, it smells good it smells though. Smells very good. Now also here, I love um, motto and pesto. Yesterday um, with the popo salad, you actually see a biggest um, version. I have got something that which is bigger. Um, and, and also at the back there, I don't, know, I don't know if you actually can see, there's another two there is actually at the back. Now with the sunflowers, you can dry them up or not. That doesn't matter because you don't need something that actually is small. So I'm adding sunflower seed. Sunflowers. Remember, to ye today is the New Year's Day. So happy New Year. So we do something that auspicious. Um, in Chinese, this is actually almond. Almond in Chinese is also sounds like um, auspicious. So we also add the almond sewers into that as well. Um, and sesame seed why do you actually sesame seed is actually auspicious because it's actually so small and because there's so many of them there it's not just taste good it's also um, auspicious as well because you know like you you want a lot of um, wealth money whatever it is that you can actually um, grab. Oh, Thomas can you move those one closer to me please now with the walnut the walnut is actually um, very good for health as well for um, you know your um, brain and also it's quite auspicious as well uh, walnut so walnut is actually quite a little bit chunky bit so what we actually going to do we're just going to break it up a little bit if you want to you can add peanut in there as well the Chinese people they always actually have peanut um, in, in the new year and that is actually hua sun. Hua is flower. Sun is is um um you know um growing. Yeah. Wal walnut is Wal hua sun. No, um the peanut. Oh, peanut. Peanut, yeah. And another thing I'm going to add a little bit of is the um the pine nuts. Pai song su. Song su in um in in Chinese and also in Buddhism is quite significant. Because you know, like joy, you um sing you. Hang on, how can I say that? Um, sing. I I I I have to read it. Actually, I don't want to get it wrong. Um, you know, it it's it's um it's how to practice like the um the strong and the steady um like the um high trees because the high trees is actually quite high up and it go with the bends of the um the wind and the storms. It, it doesn't actually break easily and it, it, it actually lasts thousands of years. So um, I, I have to find that Chinese one, the, the, the practice of, you know, how you actually um, walk like the winds or something and, and sit like the, um, the, the bell and stand like the, um, the, the pie trees. And this is um, what's so called that one? Pistachio. So this is the pistachios. Same thing. I'm going to crush it a little bit. The the reason I'm crushing it is that so the the um, they can dry up together, and um, they can also um, you know test the flavors can also actually get into it as well. Now we can actually use a little bit of flowers. What John was doing, she was actually using the. Um, um the bread the bread crumbs john john in new zealand she used bread crumb to actually to fry them together to bind uh, to bind all this together yeah yeah to fry all this together now the last one i'm actually going to use or not because this is actually eight different ingredients eight number eight in australia not in australia in australia um in um, chinese cultures is auspicious so um you know if you're actually buying a house this or is, is the it, brazil nuts this is a brazil nut if they're actually selling a house if the house is actually number eight or number 88 or 38 or 48 you're definitely going to pay um you know could be a thousand could be ten thousand more could be you know five thousand more from from um you know the house next door 
which nothing is actually um, greater, just the numbers. That's the best you, um, um, bacil nut. So I'm actually grind them nicely and softly, and I throw that in there. Now, I have got a decision to make, which what is it that I'm actually going to use to actually to apply this with. I can actually use the um, flowers, a little bit of flowers, or a little bit of um, the um, breadcrumbs, or I actually can use eggs, or I can actually use both. You can actually see this is actually not going to blight together. All right, so as I'm actually stirring them up, actually, I just like, like it like that, you can actually make nut salad just like that. And, and just add herbs to it. And there you go, you actually have got your nut salad. If you actually, um, um, you know, Tom actually will sing you a song while we're actually going and, and, and get the, um, the flowers. <laughs> uh, it's okay, I don't think Bill and Mary uh, need to suffer on New Year's Day. <laughs> <laughs> you know, with the flowers, you actually have got, like what we actually always do, and I have said again, is that certified organic. You know, that is actually give me some confidence in um, what is it that I'm actually buying. And we actually going to, and also Australian as well. There's another thing that I can strike for. I'm not going to um, stress myself by thinking, I haven't done this, I haven't done this, I haven't achieved it, I haven't achieved that. Instead, I concentrate on the thing that I can do, which is, you know, um, Australian, that's my choice, um, as much as I can, and um, certified organic, as much as I can, right? So not this is, much. Uh, this is called the intuitional measuring system. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so if you ask Ling how much how much flour is that she says um uh, like four shakes <laughs> <laughs> the new system of measurement <laughs> yeah so you know the flour is just enough to actually to bry them together you can actually see that is actually just right like that there now the next thing that I'm actually going to add on to it, um, and before I actually go and and pet it, I would like to acknowledge the girls. So um, you know we we went and stay at this farm in the country, and the um, owners actually gave us some eggs from the girls, and and the girls are so beautiful. They they actually um, you know came and and um, you know to say hello to us. And they're also in the farm, they also have an email where the email actually just following the girls, you know, the chickens, six of them, they have six um, chickens. So the, the um, farmers, they're actually saying they have too much eggs. They don't know what to do with the eggs. And would I'm happy to take them? And I said, yes, the more the merriest. <laughs> so these eggs are all the way from Narrabri. <laughs> on the next to the Guaida River, which is where the farm stay was. It was just, uh, just wonderful. It's really beautiful. You have got your own cabin. cabin Riverside and, yeah, farm Yeah, cooking stay. facility and, and um, you know, everything. It's so beautiful. You can actually see there, we don't need um, water at all. Um, it's all coming blinding together. And at the same time as I'm actually doing it, Remembers whatever we do, life goes on. Like um, as we are actually doing our cooking shows, other people are actually doing shopping. Like um, what we what are we actually doing here talking, the cat is actually sleeping. As I'm actually stirring here, the flowers and the plant and the butterflies, the bees is actually keep going with their life, go on with their life. So life go on and on and on and on and on. And, and we are all connected. You can actually see that was actually from different um, bottles, but we all combine into a bowl. I have got some, um, again, stainless steel, um, stainless steel pot, and I have got a little bit of oil. And what I'm actually going to do, just, I don't have to use my fingers, but I, of course, I like to play with food. I can make it flat or I can actually make it round. 
So I just drop that in. See, you can actually smell, um, you can smell that. You don't need to cook it for long at all. It's already start burning already. So almost immediately, once you actually put it on, you just turn it the other side. Egg doesn't need long to cook. And flowers is actually, um, you know, doesn't need long to cook. Um, there we have got that. Now I'm going to turn off the heat because I don't want them to burn. So, like I said earlier, um, cooking is actually art. Cooking is therapeutic. We can actually serve it with this leaf. This leaf is all edible. So um, there's actually different choices of leaf that we can actually serve our um, on top of there. On top of there. Hmm. On top of there. That for me is edible. That for me, um, the leaf is actually don't doesn't become challenge. This is very easy to go. The dandelion, eat it by itself is quite bitter, but when we actually have it with the um, the vegetable um, the the nut nut paste like that, it's make it doable. This is actually edible flower as well. Looking and seeing what is it that can be used that is edible. I can also actually put cucumbers in there as well, which I... another thing also, we have got two different types of um, tomatoes um, growing from home. And look at these colors. This is actually the furrow basket. This is furrow basket, Thomas. Yeah, so um, we can actually have the, um, the, this one, cut them in half. So we know what is it. We can check what is actually inside. We can have them all around like that, or we can just actually have three of them by size, that's all. Or we can actually just pop them into one spot. However we actually wanted to do it, it's totally up to us, really. So I would call this one auspicious nut patties.